It all started with a request by email. I signed on the vessel in Singapore. Sketch was attached of the monopod. The monopod structure with 1,400 tons. We had only had two to two and a half months for the preparation time. And two weeks later, we were in use for the first meeting. Mooring the vessel is a two and a half days operation. A very interesting aspect was the Jones Act. We had to install 10 mooring winches. Five mooring winches on the forward of the vessel's deck and five mooring winches on the aft of the vessel's deck. So to get the top side, which was located on a barge, with a weight of 700 tons, to the monopod, we only had our cranes. The Jones Act required to have the vessel itself not moving at all as soon as American cargo hang on the cranes or uh, on board our vessel. A political thing which uh, had impact on many uh, technical things. Shortly after that, I had to change my uh, scope of work from captain to hotel I would say. Besides the engineering, also we had to deliver a kind of hotel. Which was mounted here in the forward part of the vessel. This living quarter was for 60 people who came from the client to operate um, the installation. We had very high safety requirements that came from the US Coast Guard, which we had to achieve. So 90 uh, living on board and maximum 15 day visitors, additionally. The most challenging operation was the installation of the monopod, the big piece uh, with a weight of much more than 1,000 tons. You can imagine we have a spider web of anchor wires ranging out from the ship to the anchors and the barge has to approach without touching any of those wires and the changing currents and so on. The monopod is sticking up here higher than the crane booms. We lifted it off the barge. Put it temporary on deck. So-called mud mats had to be put underneath uh, the sleeves. There was a wellhead, a small piece of pipe sticking out of the ground, four meters, rather sensitive thing, of course. And the monopod had to fit over it very accurately. The room we had to play with, there was only a couple of inches, centimeters. And once the monopod reached under the waterline, it was getting uh, really interesting for us because they, we couldn't see it anymore. So we were really relying on a, on a 3D sonar system underwater. The way we did it was to use a king pile. The king pile was another pile we put into the ground. So we leaned against the king pile with a monopod and then slid down along it. We needed one guy on deck supervising the cranes directly, one guy in the survey container, and both of them communicating and commanding the cranes, which was uh, requiring a lot of team play, actually. We released the weight but it didn't get down further. So what to do? We pulled it up again, tried another time, slid down again, when suddenly the relieving slide down came and we got it down to the seabed after that. The project was very interesting from technical point uh, of view. During the whole project everybody really relied on our crew to build a combined project team. It was really nice to see how uh, that led to the successful uh, completion of the project.